It's hammer time. Ooh, Jesus. Okay. Today, we're excited to be taking a closer look at a new and potentially game-changing material by Filament Innovations called CPX. This material was designed specifically to address a gap in the orthotics and prosthetics market. However, we think the potential goes far beyond this. It's a unique, high-impact copolymer polypropylene material designed to enable incredibly durable and used parts. We're going to be putting it to the test against three other common filaments, PETG, standard polypropylene, and nylon. And no, these will not be scientific, well-controlled experiments, but we're hoping that they'll help to show the differences between some of these materials. All right, to kick things off, we have PETG. Thank you. We have our fish hook scale. We'll measure the amount of force it takes to break it. We have our lovely assistant here, Chris. Chris, how are you doing today? <laughs> Well, that was uh, catastrophic. That was my hat. <laughs> wow. What's left of it. All right, next up we have nylon. Here we go. What did you break? It flips. Did it? Yeah, it did. Oh, wow. Yeah, the layers just separated. Huh. Yeah, nylon's tricky to print. All right, on the next one. Polypropylene. PP, baby. Oh, sorry. It's like stretching out. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can avoid that. Ah. right into my thumb. Can you like bend that with your hand? How flexible is it? Oh yeah. Yep. Pretty soft. Pretty soft. Ow! Now we have CPX. Copolymer polypropylene. I have a feeling it's gonna bend like that, yeah. but take a lot more force to get there. So as expected, the PETG just completely shattered. Uh, it's a very brittle but high tensile strength material, so for something with impact resistance, it is not going to be the, prep, the greatest fit. The nylon unexpectedly really pulled apart. Maybe the uh, layer adhesion wasn't the best with this print. We don't print very much nylon. It's just really tricky to not only print but keep dry. Uh, it has to always be sealed and the layers just really separated there as you saw. Polypropylene held together, but it is the most flexible material here by far. Uh, almost feels like semi-rigid, um, nowhere near anything like PETG. And then the CPX, I would say it was a perfect balance between the polypropylene and the PETG. It did not catastrophically fail. Um, it held a lot more weight than polypropylene. And uh, yeah, we're excited to see how it does in the hammer test. Go for a ride, Chris. Whee! Well, now it's time for the hammer test. You ready, Chris? It's hammer time. All right, hammer test, starting with Petchy again. All right, Chris is ready to go. Hold on. Gotta hold my box. All right, wait, hold on. Ready, and whenever you're ready. Ooh, Jesus, okay. Uh, yeah, that, that's not there anymore. All right, the Petchy no longer exists, so uh, now we're gonna try the nylon. 
All right, Chris, whenever you're ready. Oh my gosh. Okay. Similar, uh, similar results there. Holy crap. Oh, that surprised me. <laughs> okay, so uh, nylon does also shatter. Did not expect that. All right, next up we have polypropylene. I definitely don't think this is gonna explode like the last two, but we will see. What do you think, Chris? I don't know. <laughs> He's not too confident after that last one. All right, whenever you're ready. Okay, well, it's still here and uh, intact, okay. It just kind of broke, but it didn't explode. So, uh, you know, that's we're getting better here. All right, and now CPX, which should be the most impact resistant material, but uh, we're about to find out. Are you ready, Chris? What do you think? <laughs> you knocked the drill off the wall. How does it look? Is it good? Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Holy crap. I hit it square too. I didn't think it There's not a single crack. You can see the impact. You can see where it took the stress, but this is still in one piece. That's pretty cool. Should we hit it again? Yeah, I think we should hit it again. All right, take two on CPX. We can hit it again. Ready? Jeez, something was flying around, yeah. Wow, it still looks good. Right, hit number three with the hammer, CPX, whenever you're ready. Jeez, it's like bouncing off the walls. <laughs> How's it look? Good. Damn, what else do we have that's like really heavy that we can drop on it? Drop it out the window. All right, we're gonna hit this a fourth time just to be sure we can't break this. All right, Chris, whenever you're ready. How's it look? Pretty good. Wow, still good. All right, <laughs> that that is impressive. The inside looks fine too. Wow. Okay, so the results are in. Um, Petchy, not very impact resistant. Nylon, not all that much better. I honestly had higher expectations for this, but uh, yeah. And then the polypropylene broke, did not explode, but it did break. It's the most flexible, so you know I thought it would more so deform, but uh, not very impact resistant, I guess. And then we have CPX, which <laughs> still <laughs> looks like the tube. It has impact, uh, you can see the stress, you can see little dents from the hammer, but ultimately it is still completely fine. I'm sure we could beat this all day and it would still continue to look this way, so uh, we are very impressed from this one and we're still picking our brains as far as how we might be able to break this.